Hey guys, Gassy TV here with another Path of Exile video for Craft of Exile. In this one, I'm going to show you how to craft the Speckle Shield Throw Bleed Weapon. The easiest way to do this. It is a very, very easy craft to do. The um, base item you're going to want to use for this is a one-handed axe, if I can find it. One-handed weapons. And we're looking for a runic runic hatchet, because this gives you global fist damage. Now, with this approach, you want this to be of highest item level possible. So I'm going to search the market for how a runic hatchet is currently uh, priced at 86 plus. Should only be a couple of chaos, two, two, three, two chaos. However, you want this with a warlord influence. Now, obviously, when when we're looking at warlord influence, you have to compare it with two different things. First off, this is about uh, 150 X. That, sorry, chaos. That's about one and a half X. This also means that you want to check the price of Warlord's Exalted Orbs. By searching for Warlord's Exalted Orbs, you can now verify that it is uh, about the same. So you'd be better off actually just buying the base with the influence. Uh, just a couple of days ago, the Warlord X was actually a lot cheaper than the Warlord Influence Runic Hatches. So this was a very, very good profit craft. I'm not sure how it is nowadays, but you can always check the uh, markets to verify if this is something you can do for profit. So you want a Warlord's X or the Influence base already on an 86 or higher Runic Hatchet. Now that we have that out of the way, we are going to craft this in a very, very, very specific way. So first off, you have two options. You can use fossils for perfect fossil, which will change the quality from uh, 20 up to all the way to 30% if you want to. Not that this matters at all. This doesn't really have any impact because this quality will only impact the actual quality in terms of um, your on hits with the weapon. And the Spectre Shield though, will use your shield. So this is not something you need to worry about when it comes to crafting the weapon. So then we're going to move on to the actual crafting. Oh, that was with Aberrant, my bad. So we're going to use this uh, strategy to craft the specific modifiers. What you're looking for is a Warlord Influence modifier, uh, increased damage over time, and you want increased damage with bleeding, and you preferably want a suffix open so you can bench craft physical damage over time. Multiplier, which is a suffix craft. This means that there's going to be two suffixes that you want to have, and the third one, if there's any other suffixes, should, in best case scenario, be a, an attack speed modifier. The very easy way to do this is literally just use corroded fossils. That's it. One corroded fossil. I can see here that this turned shit. I can see here we had the attack speed, but no bleed. Nothing else we want to use. Check it again, and now we have a tier 2 physical damage over time. We have a tier 2 uh, chance to bleed with damage increased with bleeding. However, if you see this, these are the two modifiers you're looking for with the corroded fossil. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see it better. Uh, so as you can see here, it's damage over time. There's bleed. There's two suffixes. When this happens, you have two options. One is obviously use an annulment orb and, you know, pray. The other is to use a bestiary craft. And the bestiary craft you can use is a remove a random suffix and add a new prefix. Since we don't care about the prefixes outside of the damage over time, this is a two out of three chances to actually make this happen. So if I click this, I now lost the bleed. I don't have to start over and use the corroded fossils. If it didn't hit the bleed, then it will look like this. And now we have dexterity, at which point I will simply benchcraft uh, the over time, physical damage over time, tier one. And there we go. That is a finished product of a spectral shield throw weapon that you can craft very, very easily. It doesn't cost you much currency at all to self-craft these things. And if you want to get really big on this, the dexterity roll in this case, in this example, would be taken away and you'd instead have an attack speed. So just to show you the entire process one more time, we used fossils, corroded fossil, and I'm looking at the modifiers. In this case, we don't have the damage over time. Reroll, reroll. And in this case, we have a tier three damage over time with tier two bleeding. We even have attack speed, but we have filled suffixes. And if this happens again, go to the beasts, move a suffix, add a prefix. And in this case, we hit it again. And now we put the benchcraft in, we're done. Very, very simple. Now we have damage over time, bleeding damage, attack speed, which is just nice for the shield charge, and then the benchcraft of physical damage over time. It's so easy, I'm going to show you a third time. Corroded fossils, nothing. This one has bleed, nothing. This one has bleed, but not the tier 3 damage over time. Here we go again. Damage over time, tier 3. Tier 3 bleed, two open suffixes, beastcraft, remove one. In this case, we're done. We put the benchcraft in, finished. It's so easy. We're going to do it one more time. Corroded fossil, damage every time warlord, tier one, tier three bleed. Suffix needs to get rid of. No, there's actually two an open suffix already. We're done. <laughs> it's so easy to do this. It was so much currency to profit craft these early.
I'm not sure how profitable they are now and probably won't be that profitable after I showed you guys this video, but this is how you craft them and you can actually just spend some extra uh, modifiers on it. If you want to go crazy and make sure you have higher tier, you can actually do corroded together with sanctified fossils, if I can find it. Higher tiers are more lucky. This means that the mod you get will have a higher chance of being higher tier, which means it's going to be a little bit more pricey. We're rolling this. You can see that we're getting higher tiers in general across the board. Physical damage over time, tier one, tier three bleed. There's an open suffix. We're done. <laughs> you can do it again. Damage over time, tier three, bleed, tier two. No open suffix. I'll use a beast craft over here. I'll open it up. I lost the attack speed, but the weapon's still done by doing this. Done. It's so easy to craft this. Don't use any other strategy. Just go with the corroded fossils. If you want to go crazy trying to push tier one or tier two rolls, use the sanctified if you want to, but you don't need to. That's how you craft it. Hope you guys had use of this video. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see other crafts like this, if you have any other suggestions or crafts you want me to show, and I'll do so in the videos further down the road. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe for more content. Until next time, stay safe and keep rocking.